In the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center a moment ago, there could be a major change coming to the center, the convention center, by the end of this year. The city may have a private management company run that facility. What exactly would that mean? Let's get an answer. Jack Fink, outside the convention center, with what city leaders are saying about this plan. Jack? Well, Doug, the convention center is an economic engine for Dallas. Last year, it helped attract 26 million visitors to the city alone, and they spent $4.6 billion. So changing operations here is serious business. The K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center has played host to a president, the auto show, and the annual Mary Kay Cosmetics Seminar. But now, instead of the events, the management of the city of Dallas owned venue is making headlines. The city is considering having a private management company do the job. Councilmember Tanel Atkins asks what happens to all of the city's employees at the facility. There's not no guarantee that on the privatization they will hire those city employees. And, um, and that's my main concern right there. Councilmember Lee Kleiman says the city's employees have done a good job running the convention center. But he supports the idea of a private firm operating it. The private sector can do a better job for us than us doing it ourselves. That's a good thing. We think this is going to play very well with our customers and clients. Matt Jones is the chief financial and chief operating officer of Visit Dallas, the Convention and Visitors Bureau. He says those who book conventions would welcome a private management company. Rightly or wrongly, I think sometimes. Uh, uh, meetings and events sometimes feel like that when they're working through red tape with city bureaucracy, that that can slow down the process and not necessarily have their best interest in mind. The convention center has also hosted some of the most vulnerable citizens, those who were evacuated from areas hit hard by hurricanes. We need to be able to utilize that space, especially in emergency situations. Now, firms have until the end of June to submit their proposals to run this facility. City administrators will consider them and then recommend a firm to city council by September. And then the city may transition to a private management firm before the end of the year. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.